this is the Blue M clean room oven, convection oven, model DC256. It has a temperature range of between 15 degrees above ambient to 250 degrees. The oven is controlled by a Pro 750 controller. This programmable controller controls the operation of the heat, of the purge, and the cooling cycles. In addition, this controller also controls the functions of both the nitrogen alarm and the oxygen alarm. Additionally, there is a second controller here, which is an over temp controller. If, for example, the oven should go over the temperature set by the user, an alarm will sound, it'll inhibit the heat until it comes back down below that set, temp set temperature. The nitrogen alarm works in a similar fashion where the system requires 70 PSI to operate. However, if the nitrogen should drop below that set point, the alarm will sound. It'll inhibit the operation of the heat. And again, once that level has been restored, the operation will continue. Now let's go to the back and take a look at some of the connections. The oven requires an electrical service of uh, 220 volts AC, single phase, uh, three phase, pardon me, three phase, uh, with a dedicated ground. Uh, it requires a water supply of house water uh, between three to four gallons per minute, preferably under 70 degrees. Uh, the colder the water, the faster the cool down cycle will be. Uh, importantly, is the return or drain line. Now, this drain line cannot be pressurized in any way. It must go to a floor type drain because once the cooling cycle starts, it will emit a short blast of high pressure steam. Uh, once the cooling cycle is underway, it'll cool down and eventually the water temperature will come back down to room temperature. The only other connection, of course, would be the nitrogen connection right here, which is 70 PSI uh, with a maximum of 90, not to exceed 90 PSI. The performance of the oven is uh, monitored and recorded on our data logger with the results always available and sent to the customer for acceptance. Earlier, I talked about the oxygen sensor monitor. The oxygen monitor series 3510, which is normally attached to the side of the oven, has been sent to Alpha Omega for complete overhaul and upgrading. It will consist of a new sensor along with several other new components as well and will be retrofitted back onto the um, oven at the customer's site. Uh, however, to demonstrate the operation or the signal that would be sent from this monitor, uh, we set up a DC power supply here that will simulate the signal from zero to five volts, which corresponds with the range of the oxygen sensor, which is zero to 10,000 parts per million. Now, if I go to the oven, I can display the parts per million. And the way the oxygen sensor works is that if it detects any oxygen over the level of 10,000 parts per million, it will shut down the heat. This oven is not intended in any way to have any kind of product or material in it of a combustible nature 
So oxygen, the oxygen level is always a very big concern. So if the oxygen level goes down and can vary back and forth, however, if it should go above 10,000 parts per million, what will happen is the high oxygen alarm and light will sound. It will immediately turn off the heat and immediately start purging the chamber with nitrogen. Once the oxygen level has been brought back down, it will return to its normal operation. Actually, the operation of this oven is very simple, very comfortable. Uh, once um, the user's programs have been programmed into the system, it's as simple as throwing a main breaker, throwing the main control switch on, and after a short boot from the controller, you can have the oven automatically start itself. Or if you choose, you can run a program that you can either independently um, start or stop. So again, it's very comfortable to operate. The oven's chamber is easy access, you can stand at it, and um, the volume of it is 4.9 uh, cubic feet, so there's ample room for quite a bit of product.